How's it going, Jamie? Yeah, good, thanks. How are you going? Good, bro. Thanks for coming in today to demo my Mesa Dual Rectifier Solo Head. This thing is incredible. It's it just, is a beast. It's just come back from the tech and the, the invoice will be in the, one of the photos showing what's been spent. I think it's four or $500, whatever, valve chains, the whole thing. Uh, what are you playing through today, Jamie? Just playing the USA Strat, starting on the neck pickup. Okay. Playing an old Fleetwood Mac song, Oh Well. Okay, come um, on, so we'll start on the clean channel. I, so, even, I even didn't have a shave today, so I've been <laughs> nice and rough for the video, dirty rock. So, um, so we've just done a, a level balance. The air, it's pretty cranked. I'm playing through a two by 12 um, Fender. Modern, that's a modern Fender cab. So it's the um, the supersonic or whatever they are, the supersonic two by 12. Uh, there's the back of the Mesa. There's 11 valves in there. I think the six big EL6s and then five smaller valves. I don't know what they are. Look, I'm not even a guitarist. I, I bought this amp for studio use. And the reality is that I, sadly, it's just not getting the use it deserves. And I need to buy other stuff that I do need to use more. So I don't play guitar, I've got, I've got a ton of amps. So unfortunately this mess has got to go. Come through Vanessa, you're right. Um, so this is, the, this is the weapon. So Jamie's gonna give it a bit of a demo for us. Uh, so yeah, we just did a level match. It's pretty loud. We were running the master on um, about 10 o'clock. And we've just adjusted the master, it's three channel amp, and then you've got solo. So it's actually four channels. So you've got channel one, channel two, channel three, channel two, channel three, then you've got a solo. And you've actually got an effects loop as well. And the, you know, they're very comprehensive. The photos, I'll, I'll, I'll be close up with the photos. You can see all the effects loop stuff's there, uh, which as you know, it's the best way to run. The beautiful thing is, is you can go from like super Fender clean to a bit of crunch to like the overdriven sound and then you've got the solo, it gives you the boost to just give when you want to cut through over the band. Come on. So if you're a Marshall player, you're switching to a messy, you're taking a step up, you can get the Marshall sound, you can get the Fender cleany sort of sound, which you'll hear when I play. So on the back here, you've actually got two options. You've got the rectifier options. Uh, where is that there? So you can see you've got either the silicon or the the vacuum tubes silicon diodes So uh, we're actually running it on the normal The silicon gives you even more power and like we were just demoing it before and it was hurting my ears. So um, Anyway enough talking. Let's hear this darn thing <laughs> Play 
say that loud. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been, been quite a number of years. I sold my Marshall stack last year and went back to a box AC30, so yeah, she's been a while. <laughs> i tell you what, this would handle a quad box no problem. And, and obviously with a nice quad box, it would sound even better. I think it's 100 watt. I'm pretty sure it's 100 yep. watt. Where would it say that? I don't know where it says that. 100 watt head, there it is. But the 100 watt ones are so much cleaner and it's actually pretty quiet sitting on the clean channel. Hand built in the USA, yes, it is quiet on the yeah, clean big, channel. Isn't great it? pedal platform. Oh, that's still pretty loud, but I can't hear any hum. So can you do me a favour, because I know some of the heavy rock guys and metal guys like Messer, can you try some sort of metal chug on channel 3? of breakup yeah so let's set that up on channel two and just adjust your gain or whatever you got to do on channel two there to just get that where you like this it is two. This so is this two. is two that's your gain there oh,
Such a um, such a crunchy, marshally kind of tone, and it's through a Fender cab. If that was through a like a, a Celestian quad box, vintage that would 30s just or something. be oh, yeah. vintage thirties. That's why so many people love these amps, and that's why they're worth spending the money to have mm. that sound and the versatility of the of the um, of the channels. Well, it's actually four that, channels. That reminded me of a Silver Jubilee when I get went for the crunchy tone with that. so much Jamie Boyd demoing the uh, Mesa Boogie made in USA dual rectifier solo and there's Lee Turner's tag he tests and tags everything and um, it's uh, it's stunning you've got three channels as I said before you've got clean and pushed on channel one and then you've got raw vintage and modern on channel two and channel three and each channel has uh, input gain, obviously, master output, presence bass, mid treble, and then you've got an overall master volume, and we've only been running this thing on, you know, uh, on about three and a half, four. So into a quad box, you could really crank it. And then, of course, you've got your solo. You can just set that so when you hit solo on the foot switch, it just gives you that little extra boost to cut through. Uh, so there you have it. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.